Get a load of this. <laughs> what is the most awful thing a man has ever done to me post breakup, but also the most romantic? I'm about to tell you. I dated this man for a year. Watch this. Nine years ago, and still to this day, he is the best boyfriend I have ever had. Hands down. The hold that this man had on me, like, I really, until recently, would have dropped everything to be with this man again. He was one of the most romantic, thoughtful, sweet, like, all of the above boyfriends I think I've ever met in my life. On his days off, if I was working, he would come to my work, grab my car, like, wash it, clean it, fill up the tank, Sam. and then bring it back. Sam. He was always just doing, like, the most grandiose romantic gestures, Sam. like, leaving notes for me, writing letters to me, giving thoughtful gifts, like... The absolute, the absolute most. Like, Sam. just worshipped the ground I walked on. Worship. And Man, you only supposed to be worshipping Jesus. Talking about the worship. No, what? You only supposed to worship Jesus. What's she talking about? And I am being 100% honest when I say I totally took it for granted. Sam. I have no idea why this man stayed with me or loved me so much because I was terrible to him and, like, just thought it was a given that a man does these things, like, now I'm like, are you fucking dumb, Camille? Yes, I am. I'm stupid. One of the most thoughtful gifts he gave me for my birthday one year. Well, I guess we were only together one year, so it's one year. Anyways, the, the most thoughtful gift he ever gave me was oh, yeah. like an Eiffel Tower themed gift. My goodness. He gets me this gift. It's so sweet. I like basically cry when he gives it to me like honestly the most thoughtful gift i've ever gotten we break up like six or seven months later i done had enough of this bull crap so let me just tell you straight up what's happening i ain't gonna waste none of y'all more time with the heck she just talking about i'm gonna translate for you all right she was once young now she's old danger zone as kevin samuel says right when she was young she took things for granted but now she's thinking about him like he's the best thing ever why because her behind ain't got no daggone options because she's old or older now she's not really old but you know what i mean she's in the danger zone y'all already probably know what i'm about to say but guys how much data do we need from these females to understand that when you treat them with love and respect in a certain type of way just love and respect. No, no, no mind games, none of the other extra stuff. Just you really want to love and just respect them and appreciate them that they don't appreciate it back. They use words like, I took him for granted. But in reality, that's all across the board. They don't really respect that, bro. The only ones that be respecting that be the older females. Why? Because their behinds ain't got no daggone options like that. So of course they're going to respect it and of course they're going to appreciate it. Now, the reason why a lot of dudes get caught in this situation, right, and the reason why we have to be educated as men on how to pretty, pretty much not to be like that, because it's in our nature when we really, really like a woman to really just to give her the world. You know what I'm saying? We'll conquer the world for her. We'll go out and do anything. No strings attached. None of this extra stuff. None of these mind games. None of those mind games. We just wanted to just bless our woman, bro. We want to be nice to her. We don't want to be mean. We don't want to have to act like we alpha. We don't, have, we don't want to do none of that stuff. We just want to give our woman the world. But for some reason, I do not know why, women do not respect that and appreciate that. I don't have the exact reasons, but all the data shows that they like better or they appreciate more when a dude mistreats them. How do I know? Listen to the rest of the story. We kept trying to get back together. We kept hooking up. Like... It was just like, it was first love type shit where it was just like extra toxic and we were just both so heartbroken and like really wanted each other back but couldn't figure out how to make it work. No. So we went like a good six months doing that and then the following six months we just didn't really talk or like communicate. We were trying to be healthy. So a year after we break up, That's this so is sad. around the time the explore page on Instagram becomes a thing. I'm on the Explore page and I see this man, the love of my life, with a half sleeve tattoo, like half of his arm, covered in an Eiffel Tower with Mazzy Star lyrics right next to the Eiffel Tower. I text him. I'm like, oh, this is my end. Like, I can get him back. He still loves me. He told me the tattoo didn't represent me. Classic story. You see that? It's not until he started not giving an F about her. That she started wanting him. Why is it? Why? Why? Why?
The same Eiffel Tower that she loves so much because she explained how Eiffel Towers are like the, it's like a big thing in her life. So he got her the Eiffel Tower. She cried. Remember she said that part? And when he, when he, when she broke up, when he broke, dang it. She's trying to paint the picture like they was going back and forth. No, it was her. It was her going back and forth. He was silent. He wanted her. But she was the one like, okay, let's talk. Has, you know, do something. And then afterwards, okay, I don't want you no more. She probably messed with somebody else. That dude don't want her. She go back to him. It was her the whole time. So Cuz probably got that tattoo of an Eiffel Tower, a whole sleeve of that joint, to remind him to never get treated like that by a female ever again. Now it was nine years later and she's still thinking about this dude. Women won't just let us be nice guys. They won't just let us just be nice to them and love them. And they, It's like it has to be some level of dysfunction for them to desire us. That's trash, bro. And like I said, the data don't lie. We have I have video after video after video of examples and data of women being like that, bro. Why can't we just be a nice guy? Why are women so naturally attracted to dysfunction? The mature ones aren't like that, but even the mature ones were like that at one point. What 